Our prayer now is, Lord, help me believe who I am and what I have. Welcome to the One Cry Podcast, a nationwide call for spiritual awakening. The goal, accelerating the movement of God through sharing revival truth, stories, and reports. Well, here we are once again on the One Cry Podcast. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's, so much, there's only so many ways after doing several hundred podcasts now, yeah. there's only so many ways that you can introduce a podcast. <laughs> we, you know, we, we, we've we done are. all. We, here we, know, we, <laughs> by the time we get a couple more hundred down the road, we're just going to be like, what's yeah. up? But <laughs> we're here and we're yeah. glad you're listening. I'm I'm Bill Elif and this is Kyle Reno. And uh, we're so glad uh, you're joining us and you're with us. You know, I was just thinking, uh, Kyle, as, as we've been recording these lately, how fun it is to do these with you and and uh, we've worked together, we've served together on the staff of a church and known each other for a good while. There's a a unity of heart mm -hmm. uh, between you and me that makes it easy to work together. Does that make uh, sense? 100%. And, and and I just and and that's found for us. I know in hours that we've prayed together, we've we've uh, we've uh, you know laughed and cried together, mm -hmm. and and our hearts are one, mm -hmm. and so that that becomes a more powerful thing, you know, right. and uh, and so it's interesting that this is something one of the last prayers other than the prayers on the cross that Jesus prayed for in John 17 was that we might be one with each other, but one with the father and the son. And, and yeah. that there's something incredibly powerful about that. And I know you're going to talk yeah. to us about that today. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I agree with you. That kindred, you know, spirit is something that's real among people, you know, and you and I have that by God's grace and things that he's done in our lives and together and yet, here's here's Jesus, and I mean, I I could get messed up about it right now. He just that God came, wrapped skin on Himself, and mm -hmm. and then lived as a man, full of the Spirit, and and Jesus prayed. Like I I I I mm -hmm. moved past that so quick, you know. Like like no, the Son of God prayed. The Son of God got alone with His Father. He set aside time, time. Mm -hmm time to pray to pray to uh, to talk about things to we'll see later to surrender to the will of the father like god jesus prayed just like we pray but he prayed perfectly and he prayed powerfully and there's these things and then <clears throat> you get you just had the john 14 through 16 discourse that's just like one of the most important three chapters of the bible right you know where he he's saying i'm about to be out of here you know, I, 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 there's some things you need to know. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I mean, they, he get, uh, don't let your hearts be troubled. There, uh, let me tell you about how our relationship works and abiding, and what that looks like for me, for life to be poured into you, branches of the one true vine. He talks a lot about our relationship with God, the Holy Spirit, in John 14 through 16. So, like, Jesus is laying it out. And these, and and then you get to John seventeen, and he, man, I just think about this, Bill. He takes it all vertical. Mm -hmm. He takes, he take, he he's, he's been here with his disciples. He's been here with his disciples, and then it's like seventeen. I feel like, and there's like there's like a whole sermon series here, so I can't do it all day. Then I feel like he takes that sermon he just preached to them in many ways, John fourteen through sixteen, and he takes it to the Father and mm. prays for us. For it, for what he just got through teaching them to be true for us. Wow, you know, it's a crazy thought. Like, and so Jesus is looking into their eyes, thinking, "Lord, Father, they're going to need your help. They're going to need your help." And and just one little section. I'm going to give you like five verses here. In John 17, verse 20, I, I, I want to encourage you. You're mentioned, our listener. Like you're mentioned, Jesus on earth prayed for you in John 17, verse 20. Isn't that crazy? Like he could see you. 
he he was saying things to the Father on your behalf. He said, I do not ask for these only, meaning I don't ask for just these right here. Talk about a prayer that's changed the world. I mean, here's a prayer that changed the world. I don't ask for just these right here only, but also for those who believe in me through their word. So if you're listening and you have believed on the finished work of Jesus Christ, welcome into the prayer. Like you just got introduced to the Father by the Son for these specific. I mean, that's a, that's a prayer that changed the world. Like it, it, it changed. It's, it's still every day as people are brought into the family of God, it's changing the world. Man, Jesus prayed a prayer that changed the world. And you're in it if you're a believer. That they, so what does he ask for us? That they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Jesus asked for, for, the, for the miracle of manifest relationship, like for the miracle of us being one together as a people around a, literally around a person, our God, that we would experience unity and oneness with the Father. Like he's bringing us back. I want you to think about this, that the Lord, that the Jesus' prayer is praying us back into what was lost in the garden. He's, he, he's praying for, back into restored relationship with God together, that we could walk with him again in the cool of the day. Listen, he goes on to say, he gives us more meat on this. <clears throat> in you, that may also be, here goes verse 1, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. So here, here's Jesus. I want, I want the glory of God. I want the glory of God to be manifested through the people of God. I want the world to look at them and know that they are distinct and different. It's just Jesus praying for us. And I, I think Bill, in this, and jump in here anytime you want to. That I think that we don't. We if we would just believe that Jesus has prayed this prayer and that the Father has answered it, it would change everything about how we. We would know that we that there is no place. I remember the first time I had this thought. At the moment I believed on the finished work of Jesus Christ, there is no place I belong more than in God's presence. Mm. Mm. There is there is no place I belong more than than in God's presence because I I didn't I don't enter all, all out of effort. Mm -hmm. I enter. I enter out of what has been accomplished, <laughs> what has been finished. And Jesus is saying, that's what I'm praying for them. I'm praying not only for them individually, but I'm praying for them as a people. I, I, I don't think I've ever thought about this in my life, Kyle, the connection that you just made between John 14, 15, and 16, and 17. And, yeah. th and this, I'm just sitting here thinking as you're talking because he, we know that passage. I know 14, 15, 16 well. I mean, I've preached right. many times. It's kind of a right. life passage for me. Yeah. Jesus was saying, I'm going to be separated from you. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to send the spirit that will be right. in you and mm -hmm. with you. Right. So there was a new, this was an a evolution of the presence yeah. of God. Yeah. First, they knew him. Peter, James, and John knew him in the flesh. Yeah. And so it was and when when he left and went up the mountain, they weren't with him. Mm -hmm. They want they went to get with him because they loved his presence. But now he's saying, look, I'm leaving, but it's good for me to leave. I'm going to send the spirit. He's going to be in you. All right? right. This is a new level of the presence of God. Yeah. Indwelling. Indwelling presence of God. Mm -hmm. And then he comes and prays the perfect prayer because everything Jesus prayed for he yeah. prayed perfectly and it was accomplished perfectly right. and said, now, Lord, OK, we've set it up. Yeah. Uh, now bring them into this experience. Yeah. 
where just like you and I are completely joined together, mm -hmm. they're going to be completely joined to us. Yeah. And, and, and we, there's no reason why now, if we have the spirit that we can enjoy, can't enjoy the presence of God all the time, 24 seven. Mm -hmm. And this is what he prayed, prayed for. And one day <laughs> this is going to take another step because right. he's preparing a place for us. Mm -hmm. where we'll, we'll, we'll never be interrupted from his presence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No limitations for all time. That's the final, yeah, evolution of this whole thing. But I, man, it, you're so. I think that I titled this. I mean, it's a prayer. It's a prayer for, for presence for us to experience it because he is. You're right because he knows. Hey, you're not gonna see. We're not gonna have this tangible thing anymore. You're gonna have the spirit in you that's leading you to truth and leading you to me. But now I want you to know us. I want you to. I want you to know the relationship. With the Father and the Son, I want, and I, I want you, and I want. And here's, there's a Southern boy in me. I want you, and I want y'all to experience that. I want, I want, I want y'all. I want y'all to come to us. I want you to get to know us, experience us, and that the world would know. That that, that the world would go. I don't. That what is? They that's they have some. They have someone different. They know that this is this is real. This is very very real and. Jesus, here's the thing. If Jesus prayed it, we should sure believe it. If Jesus prayed it, we should we should embrace our panting for it. Because Jesus would never pray for us uh, something that we don't desperately desire if we know it or not. Well, when you think about it, if I have the Spirit, which is God, no right. less than the Father, no less than right. the Son, if I have the Spirit of God in me, he prayed that they may be one as we are one, mm -hmm. then it's happened. Yeah. Exactly. It's not, it's not like, I wish this would happen. I wish right. I would have the spirit. I wish I right. would be one. No, it has happened now. And here's mm -hmm. a question I'd ask uh, Kyle. Mm -hmm. It probably is in the mind of our listeners. Why don't I sense that more? Why, why yeah. don't I, what's preventing me Mm -hmm. That unity has happened. Mm -hmm. The yes. moment I became a believer, the Spirit came to, and mm -hmm. I am one with the Father, one with the mm -hmm. Son. But why am I not walking in that? What mm -hmm. keeps us, what hinders us from being consciously aware of the presence of God all mm -hmm. day long? Yep. I think one part's faith. That I mean, that, nothing. I can do nothing. It's unbelief. We're not believing. Yeah, that, yeah I'm, I don't. I don't believe that. That's. I don't believe that. That's reality. true. Yeah, I don't believe that. That I'm not. I'm not believing rightly about that. I should say. You know, I, I'm that because if I if I do see it in the scripture and by the power of the Spirit who lives in me, and then I believe it, then 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 I start experiencing it. You know, like I'm I'm living in this. This is this is true. Like you just said. This is true. This is the this this has been paid for. I've been positioned by God to experience. I've had this prayed for me by Jesus. So now I have to actively engage it by faith, by faith. And that, I, I think that that's that for me. The and there's always growth in this. For me, years ago was really coming to believe, like I said earlier, that I, there's no place I belong more. There's no place. There's literally no place. You know, you know what it's like to belong to a family. I can't, it, it, there's some people that have a lot of pain around that because you don't feel like you belong. You know, you don't feel, and it changes your experience. You know, it changes what it changes how how, how you operate. It changes how you see yourself. Here's what I would say to any of our listeners: is that the 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 Father sent the Son to pay the ultimate price, so that by faith in His finished work. You can belong to the family. You can belong, and you can experience. You can sit at the table with him. <laughs> you can like that, and that's where we're heading. Like you said earlier, that's where we're heading. That that heaven yeah. is ultimately yeah. him. Him, yeah. It's him. So Jesus prayed a prayer that did change the world. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, our prayer now is, Lord, help me believe who yeah. I am and yeah. what I have and what's what you said, you said 
you asked the Father to do, and he did. Hmm. Help me believe it, Lord, yeah. and, and be consciously. You know, I've, I've changed my praying a little bit, Kyle, from Lord, bring your presence to yeah. Lord, make me consciously aware yeah, that's of your good. presence. That's good. I, because you're here, and, and yeah. wherever I am, you're there because you're in me. Mm -hmm. Lord, help me to get the blinders off, get the mm -hmm. cataracts, spiritual cataracts, mm -hmm. to, to turn back from little paths I've taken where I'm chasing the world or my mm -hmm. reputation or pleasure, whatever it is, and turn back to get to that simple, pure understanding that I'm in you, you're here, and I have mm -hmm. in you everything that I need, everything that I want. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, yeah. Well, end it with two verses and we'll pray it in. He says, I and them, you and me. Jesus now, talking to the Father. I and them, you and me. That they may become perfectly one. So that, this is interesting. So that the world may know. Mm -hmm. That you love me. And I love them even as you love me. Like Jesus is saying, this is going to be the this is going to be the primary way that the world's going to know that you sent me is they're going to see that they are one with us, that mm -hmm. they're alive, that they are spiritually changed. And he says, father, I desire that they also whom you have given to me may be with me where I am to see my glory that you have given me because you love me before the foundation of the world. Wow. <laughs> and, wow. and ultimately that's, Hey, the consummation of all things that's coming. Like that, that, that we're going to be fully manifest presence, no more need of sun nor moon, no more, nothing veiled. But, but the question here, I guess, would be, Bill, and rightly, as you said, to pray, Lord, while we're here, while we remain here on this earth, so that the world may know, let us experience your conscious like, presence to the fullest measure possible. And that, that that we would be so filled with, with that. So, man, I, I'd love to pray this over our listeners and yeah. Lord, I, I'm asking this, these Jesus, the prayer you prayed that has been heard by the father and answered. Mm -hmm. I'm asking, I'm asking, let it be experienced by your children. Let it be experienced by your children. Let us know you mm -hmm. in your let us know oneness. And I, I pray that in our age, I pray that would spread all over this nation and world where your children know what it means to be one with you mm -hmm. and together to, to enjoy you. And I pray that it would shock the world. Mm -hmm. I, I pray it would change the world. It was a prayer that changed the world and is still changing the world. So, Lord, I bring about the fulfillment of that prayer you asked the Father for mm -hmm. to the fullest measure possible in our day, I pray, in our lives, I pray. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, I tell you, it would be a, a worth a lifetime of study to let John 17 prayer master your heart. Yeah. And understand the fullness of it. And uh, maybe today, just this little tidbit, in a few minutes, we'll challenge you, readers, your listeners, to get your Bible out and read John 17 and say, Lord, make me understand this. Help me to know your ways and mm -hmm. your truth that's right here. And to see that just like the finished work on the cross did something that I don't have to question anymore, it's done. So this prayer has been answered for all of those who have received the Spirit uh, all of those who've been born again and let us walk in the fullness of that. Realize mm -hmm. what we have now that we have you. Mm -hmm. So uh, beautiful. Well, thank you for, again for joining in with us today. I pray this has blessed your heart. It's It's been a fresh, uh, a fresh word to me. And I hope you'll join us next time. And uh, just that you'll pursue the presence of Christ with all of your heart. We'll see you next time.